Hey, have you given much thought to the clothing that you wear in regards to the message that gets conveyed by wearing it? I wanted to take a few moments to share with you some of the things that have been on my mind lately. I'm actually wearing a plain purple t-shirt for this video. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. But for the time being, let me share with you some of my shirts that I pulled out of my drawer. This first one is a PIAA official shirt. And as you can see, the um, logo here for the PIAA, I used to be a certified sports official from 2006 to 2013. And it was a joy and a pleasure to, to wear the zebra stripes and to adjud adjudicate the rules of athletic contests. And then through my work in the officiating profession, I ended up with this t-shirt. It's got a logo for the um, Keystone State Games, which I worked in um, a few times. In fact, it uh, says official right here on the back. <laughs> But uh, I don't really care a whole lot about this shirt anymore. It's, it's um, something I'll usually wear like at bedtime. You know, my quiet, private setting of being at home. And now here's a shirt from a company that I worked with for nearly a full decade. Multi-restaurant delivery service based here in uh, York, Pennsylvania. And... Uh, pretty cool. I enjoyed working, uh, helping with the marketing of this business and the um, delivery of fine meals to people locally. But again, this is no longer for me. I, it's been more than five years since I did any work with this company. Here's another company I contracted with uh, several years ago, Punctual, Punctual Services. And uh, much like with the carryout business, I handled packages and stuff like that. Again, it's not a real important shirt for me to, to wear these days. Here's one from uh, volunteer work I did as an official, the Eastern York Dollars for Scholars. One thing that's really notable about this is you'll see all these different logos on the back, which I really like this because it identifies a characteristic that I'm looking to incorporate in everything I do professionally now and that being the um, building of a sense of community of connectedness of bondedness um, and that it's not about just one entity like you see just one organization featured here on the front the Eastern York Dollars for Scholars program but it's it's about a community of organizations and people that have come together for uh, a cause that's important. So I'm appreciative of having this shirt for, for that and the fun that I had in volunteering my officiating services for these basketball tournaments. Here's a t-shirt that I'm still pretty content to wear. It's the um, company I use for my car insurance, McNamara Financial. Now here's one that's really cool, so involved with my marketing training. This is a shirt I was given by Arthur Robinson Jr. of PowerfulInterviews.com and he's got quite a little thing here on the back talking about the importance of using your brain. And then I've got another cool shirt from marketing. Now this one goes way back. Look at this. This is from the big seminar August 2003 in San Francisco. Armand Morin's big seminar. I was an uh, early adopter of Armand Morin's seminars. I went to the first two big seminars that he ever had, and I think he ended up doing like a dozen or more of these. So it was real fun to uh, participate in that, get a lot of great marketing training. Here's a shirt for um, Sheets. Uh, I've met the Sheets family. I actually went to a... Um, customer appreciation luncheon that they had uh, at the Yorktown Hotel here in York, PA about, I'm going to say seven years ago now, and I got to meet uh, some of the uh, top officials with the company, so I still like wearing this shirt. 
And then I've got this one here, so the fitness club that I go to or have a membership with right now, Planet Fitness. Uh, like it from the standpoint of it being really uh, low cost. Uh, but again, this is one of those things, it's like I don't get real excited about it because they aren't the, the total health type of organization that I'm really looking for. I mean, yeah, they got equipment that's um, good to use and yeah, occasionally I'll meet somebody that's of a pleasant disposition, have a little conversation with them, but uh, I mean, come on, they, 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 they serve pizza <laughs> and bagels for uh, what they um, have for members there. It's like, <sighs> I want something that's more total and complete. And so the reason I wore this purple blank logo list t-shirt today for this video is because I'm looking to get branded and I'm looking to brand. And I want an integrated community. I want connectedness. I want deeper, more long-lasting relationships based upon values. And so I've been bugging uh, one of my clients for a number of months because he's actually talked a lot about t-shirts and the importance of the messaging that goes along with them. And I keep telling him, I want a, a, a t-shirt that has your company name on it. I want to be branded by you. <laughs> so think about it. This is part of all the deep community building thinking that I've been doing. And I'm hoping that you as a viewer of this video will appreciate what I've had to share today. And that you likewise would have some way, shape, or form of being involved in what I have for community. While at the same time having um, me involved in what you have going on for your community building. So I uh, appreciate your attention and I hope you have a blessed day.